Some of the most common misconceptions about guiding is that people think that they will go out into the African wilderness and just be alone with the animals. But being a guide, do you interpret and show people the environment that you're in? Yes, you do get to spend a lot of time with the animals out there on your own, uh, but generally you are sharing it with other people. This is my office. Here's my desk and here's my door. My view is constantly outside. I never knew I wanted to become a guide. I started as an ecologist and then over time that job evolved into becoming a guide as I knew the animals, I knew the area, I was good with people. To become a qualified guide as a South African you essentially need to undergo a FAGASA, Field Guides Association of South Africa course which qualifies you into a CATSETA qualification which is a basically a, a national standard for guiding. Uh, once you've gotten your level 3 uh, for Gaza, which is the pretty much the highest qualification you get from the learning point of view, then you can specialize in what they call special skills and knowledge. First aid certificate is very important and uh, first aid is something that can be done anywhere and goes strongly with you anywhere. Oh yeah. I left guiding to go study more and then the studies invariably just led me back into the guiding field. And now I'm, I'm on camera. The biggest challenge for transitioning from a guide to a presenter on the camera was basically the fact that looking at a camera gives you absolutely no feedback. When you are with people, um, people smile, they look interested, they raise their eyebrows, they look away, whatever it might be, there's an instant feedback that you get when you're talking to a person. I think one of the biggest challenges, secondly, would have been the ability to listen to more than one communication in my ear at the same time. Being out in the bush is um, quite sort of um, eye-opening, grounding, uh, very good for the soul. Something that everybody needs to do at some point in their life. Are you wild about the wild? Subscribe to Safari Live and experience the wonders of the wilderness. And if you click on the bell below, we'll notify you every time a safari goes live.